Well, let's, uh, let's continue. I'll just quickly say, people watching this later on YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Alright, we're good. This music is great. I do like Skyward Sword's music. Alright, uh... I guess since there's a new dungeon complete, I feel like there's more side quests available, so let me just... Have a look. I think I can progress his quest. Maybe. We'll see. There's two things people love about this town. It's the music and also... Every time I come back to town, I always have to just do this. Just... Obligatory. You get this once per stream. Okay. <laughs> Your cats are looking at you like, what the fuck? <laughs> because of the hearing the sound. Ah, I can get this now. Okay. Here we go. Don't want to leave the island, just wanted to get that. I remember when I played uh, Mario 3D World and the cats in that as well, it was just every time. Or uh, Ghost of Tsushima and, and the, the foxes. <laughs> It's just amazing to see just a group of, I can assume are mostly adults, just devolving into, oh my god, look at how cute that is. <laughs> that, that's funny. Oh, you know what? I should buy the stamina potion in case I can give him the second one. I'll do that first. <laughs> Cuteness is pretty universal in crippling our generation. A little bit. I just love how... A game that has animals, it's deemed worthy if you can pet the animal or pick it up, but if you can't, people will complain immediately. Mm. It's probably the most important thing you're developing a game is if you have an animal, allow it to be pet. It is a must. See if I can do any upgrading. I need a feather. What about you? Where on? I'll have to look up where you get some of the stuff, but at the very least, I want the shield and that thing upgraded because it is useful. Oh, 
I'm gonna do my best to get this game finished by the end of this week. Because then... I think A Link Between Worlds won't really take me much time. I have not played all of Triforce Heroes, but I can't imagine that game will be long either. So that should give me enough time to finish Breath of the Wild before Tears comes out. I'm hoping. How hyped am I? <laughs> well, I'm playing every single Zelda game until it releases, so I'd say pretty hyped. I even went out of my way to make sure the playing experience on some of them was good. Like, I could have played Wind Waker on the GameCube, but instead I sourced a copy of the Wii U version. <laughs> Same with Twilight Princess. I could have played that on the Wii, but instead I got the Wii U version. What am I looking for? Hang on. No, it's this one here. All right? Yeah. Ooh, he's in his 50s now. I've been training hard ever since we last spoke, but I still feel so sluggish. Maybe I ran out of energy. Is that a stamina potion you're carrying? There you go. <laughs> it's the sound that it makes him. He just glugs the potion. Oh. It's not about numbers. Huh? You mean I should just keep at it until I've forgotten how many I've done, right? I guess that makes sense. Now that I know, I'll definitely start getting stronger. Uh, I think... I think at this point, you just sleep, and then it should be okay. I'll progress a couple days and see what happens. Hyper Link Between Worlds gets a remaster someday. I think it might, because it is considered one of the better ones. And I mean, sometimes Nintendo will just do that. They'll just remaster something just to release something. It's the cheek color. What cheek color? Cheek color of what? I mean, in terms of the RDS remasters, I think Link Between Worlds is definitely one of the more requested ones. But also, I think since uh, since Metroid Dread, people want people wanted Samus Return to be on the on the Switch. Like they already wanted that to begin with. I feel like that one, given the success of uh, the last two Metroid games that released, it seems pretty likely they could do that. But, I don't know. The guy with the circular red dots. Oh. Um, he'll be outside now. So let's just see. Kid Icarus Uprising is another game that will likely get a HD remaster. That is another one that I would love to see remade, yeah. I mean, the 3DS has such a good library, I think. Just, I don't know what it is, but for some reason in the portable scape, I just... I just have a, this thing where they just have a level of charm to them that I can kind of... Excuse their jank. Oh, there he is. Are you slow yet? It's been great thanks to that stamina potion. The longer I train, the more I realize I'll never measure up to you. I'm just so scrawny. Why don't you come by and visit again some night? Alright, cool. 
the 3D being backwards compatible is amazing. Yeah. I mean, it was this, it was the same with all the portables, right? Like the Game Boy Color when it first came out, the cartridges released were black, and that meant you can play them on on the Pocket or the original. And then the GBA could play everything prior to it. Then the DS could play everything prior to that. The 3DS could play everything prior to that. Like, the handheld has always been... ...just well-supported in terms of backwards compatibility. Plus, right stick can be used for aiming. That's the other thing. Like, some of those games would definitely benefit from a... ...a dual stick configuration. I mean, there's also Luigi's Mansion 2, like, that's another game that I feel like would, would be good. If they were to, say, remaster the original Luigi's Mansion and port over 2, and be able to have the full trilogy on the Switch, that'd be good. I still haven't played the original, or the second one. I have the second one. And I have the remake of the original. I don't have a copy of the GameCube one. You put a PSP analog cap on your 3DS. That's doable? Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, that would be better. <laughs> You're going to be shocked by how strong I am. Come back and see me soon. I guess we just have to wait until the next quest. Um, I'm gonna run around outside. Because I think... No, I'll wait till the claw shot. I'll wait till the claw shot. Hook shot, whatever you want to call it. Because there's still the gratitude crystals outside, so... I'll wait. Um... I'm trying to think. Is there any... I don't think there's any other... Yeah, I don't think there's any other, uh... Gratitude Crystal quests we can do right now. Oh, what about Alan? Didn't the instructor have a, a request? I think maybe that one. Did I give the hand the paper? I did the love letter thing. It's the same quest. Um, when I played this the first time, I gave the love letter to the hand. And this time, I delivered the love letter. So. There you are. How's your search for Zelda going? Sorry for leaving it all up to you. I know you must be doing everything when you... Okay. Not yet. Alright, we're not up to that yet. So, I guess let's just move on. Oh, wait. This is... <laughs> Wrong door! How... I mean, I guess it's an academy, but... When this building was constructed, someone was like... No. My office must have... Those outside doors. It must have gates to enter my office. So that my rank here... Is properly represented. 
I must not have a flimsy inside door. It must be an outside door. And just imagine the door to your bedroom was the same as your front door. That's just how insane that is. What is the objective right now? Remind me. Follow the beam of light again. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, let's go. Just making sure. That's where I was gonna go, but... Better to be safe than sorry. I, wa I wonder if Nintendo will ever try to remaster A Link to the Past. I feel like that one, they have to have guts to do that, since it's, it's held in such high regard. I feel like they, they're afraid to touch it. Or better still, just doing something else with Zelda 2. I, I don't know. I think that game will just never get anything beyond just the NES version. That fan, uh... I don't know, it's, it's not really a remaster, but the fan reimagining fan project of Zelda 2. That's probably the closest we're going to get to a remaster of that game. But that is quite excellent. I kind of wish you could see the areas at night. Yeah, I did find that a bit weird that you couldn't freely explore. I wonder why that is. Yeah, I forgot to check. Do we have... An yeah, we have new chests, so hold on. There's already one on the Isle of Songs. Okay. Which, yeah, we're just headed there. Alright, cool. Yeah. Oh no, it's not this one. Whoops. I thought it was this one. Where's this chest then? Apparently it's underneath me. Where? Ah, oh, there it is. I think that's enough to purchase the heart piece. It's either 1400 or 1600, I can't remember. Someone's making a game with Zelda 2 gameplay. I have seen it. Um, it's the one that's like a sheep, right? That does look interesting. I've been keeping an eye on that one. If you really want to play like a good version of Zelda 2, check out the, uh... The enhanced version that... It's on itch. It's by someone called Hover Bats. H-O-V-E-R bat. One word. But, you know, it, it's it's PC based, but it is, I think, the definitive way to play that game now.
You just can't go back to the original once you play it. <laughs> Difficulty turned down? Uh, no, sort of. The answer is sort of. So, it's it plays the same way, however, there's a lot of quality of life things in it. I don't want to spoil it, but let's just say some of the complaints of difficulty were made easier by something. But then also there are parts of it that are harder, and the second quest actually has something meaningful and highly recommend doing the second quest. I have some important information. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess was awakened. <laughs> yeah, the mouth moving is terrifying. The mouth movement reminds me of um, flash animations that just used to have that kind of mouth movements. Oh, man. The goddess intended this message for you, master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I am the one guiding you from my place at the edge of time. Two sacred flames remain. Should you desire to possess them, you must obtain the other sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you will be blessed with another gift. <laughs> Just the, the, the dancing. Just delivering a message with interpretive dance. Harness the power of these gifts, and let there be no doubt you shall find yourself standing before the majesty of the sacred flames. Now I give you another melody, it will serve as key to unlocking your next trial, which awaits you within the shifting sands of Lineru Desert. <laughs> but if, if you haven't heard of the, uh, the Zelda 2 remake, definitely check it out. Lots of quality of life. It plays the same way. Native 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Um, but they've added a bunch of stuff that's in modern Zelda games. So there's heart pieces in the game, for example. Um, there's new areas. Some of the fights have been remade. They've taken things where they were so minuscule and dumb in the original and made them better. So one of them, for example, is like, uh, there's a quest where you need to fetch water and all you do is go to the fountain and get it. It's like one screen across. It's really dumb. So that quest has been replaced by the town has lost its water supply and you must find out why. So it's much more fleshed out. The song you just heard is Nehru's Wisdom. Use the song of knowledge to find the next trial. Hover about, right? Correct. Look it up on itch. Just that name. You'll find it. I have memorized Nehru's wisdom for you. You can now use dowsing to locate the gate to the next trial. Shout out to Hover about, by the way. <laughs> You should set a course for Lanaria Desert immediately. It's also getting updates as well from what I've heard. Um, like they're trying to make it sustainable. So it is an active development. It does receive updates and I... Don't quote me on this, but I think it... I th I think they might be aiming for even getting it to the point where there's a randomizer for it. So, you know, it lives on. Because it's been very well received. Don't quote me on it. But I, I vaguely recall someone saying that. I could be wrong. Oh, 
Hey, Cammy, what's up? How's it going? You're morally disappointed you can't find any of any animations of Link's companions getting into a brawl. Well, I mean, if you have the skill, become the first. You found it? Good, good. Yeah. I believe the official title to it is Link is Adventuresome. But I, I call it just Zelda 2 Enhanced. Because the other one's a bit of a mouthful. But I believe the official title is is that. It's another one of those fan projects that I, I really, really hope gets to thrive and doesn't meet the doom that uh, other fan projects have met. I think because it's Zelda 2, it's less likely for it to happen, but you never know. So if you're interested in that, I would check it out sooner rather than later. Or at the very least, acquire it. It is free, I should point out. They've also done, uh, I haven't checked it out yet, but there's one that's been done for uh, Castlevania 2. I think that one's just called Castlevania Chronicles 2. It's just a a reimagining of Simon's Quest because that was a a flawed game as well. But people do like Simon's Quest to some degree. Uh, I forget where I need to land. Let me think. What do I have? I have whip. I have whip. Oh, does anyone remember where you need to land here? I don't want to go through that hole. Maybe I should look it up. I, I've played through this game blindly. I just want to do the challenge of it. Um, so hang on. If we're heading to Lanero, I know we're going to the Sand Sea. I just can't remember where you're supposed to go. Um, let's just call it in the middle, the north desert, I guess. At worst, I have to backtrack the desert entrance, let's just see. I hope this is okay. It's, even if it's not, it's like a midpoint. This is where my recollection of this is like a little, little hazy, but... Okay, good news. <laughs> I chose correctly. Is it... I think it might just even be... Ah, oh, yeah, 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 the center building. I think it might just even be that. Tumbleweed zone. Yeah, that reminds me. I have got the net out. I need to collect tumbleweed because it's required for certain upgrades. I did find a spot where you can get it pretty reliably. I think I should go along with... Speaking of tumbleweeds, <laughs> there goes one. They typically crash before I can get it, so. Huh. 
Once I get claw shots, I'll explore this properly. Can I leap across here? Hopefully. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Just, I, I don't want to have to deal with that. There we go. Okay, one sec. I'm going to be an old man for a sec. Most OP stall ever made. <laughs> okay. It just doesn't look like singing. It just looks like Fee is going. <laughs> it just doesn't look like singing at all. <laughs> Thrust your sword into the center of the mark and open the way to a new silent realm. All right. <laughs> That's so metal. What? The screaming of B or me? Nintendo didn't know how to move lips yet. I don't think they still know how to move lips properly. Face sucks. Yeah, I mean, Navi 2.0. Okay. Didn't say properly, just at all. Yeah, I guess I paraphrased it a little. No. The crazy part is, this is fee toned down. You know, this is, this is one of the largest features of this is that she has been toned down. That's the thing to remember, is she's been toned down. Excuse me. Thank you, sir. I think... In terms of assistance, they got it right with Meedna. Meedna was, was the correct way to do it. Because it wasn't just, uh... It was part of the character. And there were certain moves that were done with Meedna. It just felt like an extension of Link, as opposed to just an annoyance. <laughs> you know, Me Meedna was, was a character with a backstory and everything. 
I mean, Fee, yeah, to some extent, but it's it's not really the same. I've never played the original, so I don't really have any reference other than just what the marketing for this game said. Just, oh yeah, Fee's better. I just wish, oh man, it wasn't a pain to buy retro games. I would have totally looked into getting Four Swords Adventures for real, but it's just, it's one of these games that has been deemed as like, just rare, I guess. So it, it's pretty difficult to acquire a copy of it. At a good price. I think I was right on the edge there. There we go. What? Stop sinking. Isn't it there? What? Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, zoom in. Ah, slightly off. Okay, link. Ooh. How, how am I still off? <laughs> I've got something wrong. What have I got wrong? I think I know what I've done wrong. Yeah, this is the way. Okay. Using all my my time. Okay, don't touch that one. Cause most likely I will mess this part up. Oh come on, really? Yes, Link, make loud noises. We're supposed to be in stealth. <laughs> it's one of those immersion breaking things just when you're doing something in a game that's supposed to be stealthy you either have a partner or, or a main character that just constantly keeps talking or making loud noises I'm sorry. But hopefully the compressor kicked in on that. It should have. No, don't climb. Um, why would you climb? <laughs> Um, um, am I just standing in the wrong spot? Like, why did it take so long? I'm running out of time. Get out. Oh, this is annoying.
It's all right. No, no stress. No stress at all. to leave. I need to leave some behind. They're pretty much done here. The goddess demands that you get a concussion. Oh, this part blows. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab. It's fine. I think. This was the only tricky part. It doesn't matter if they spot me out. There's so many Dusk Relics, but I just, I can't get them. They're kind of out of the way. Should be fine, all right? Oh, okay. Man, there's there's one I can definitely get over here. It's not counting down anymore, so I, I can risk it. It's just they use for upgrading, so I should get them. That other one I think is too risky. Alright, oh, let's just leave it, it's fine. This next section is going to be pretty long. Congratulations, Master. You have completed the trial. You now have the power to proceed to the sacred flame that will be entrusted to your sword and your strong spirit. You can extend... Blah, 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 yeah, yeah. The flame is somewhere in the desert. I conjecture that it lies in a place you have not yet visited. Thank you for that helpful advice, as always. Next, she's gonna be like, oh, it's in the last place you looked. It's always in the last place you look. I hate that saying so much. I feel like that's just someone making fun of you for not being able to find something. It's just, oh, well, it's in the last place you look. It's always in the last place you look. Why didn't you look there first?
gyro aim, please. Imagining that there was another one. Oh no, there it is. It's off in the distance. I feel like an idiot using this. There we go. Oh, that's right. For this one, you have to go around. Hold on. Bad news incoming. That being said, this should be fine. Get me because I'm so impatient. <laughs> nice. Alright. Oh, I guess I should go see Beetle then. Because that would get me another heart container. Yeah, cool. 
Alright, I think that covers everything. Alright. Isn't there a safe point here? I swear there's one nearby. Up there. Save. Okay, we're just gonna go to the sky real quick. I should have done that before we came here. I'll get that one on the way back. There's multiple on the way back. Ah, eh, that'll do. Beetle, where are you? There you are. Ah! Center! Center! No, just... Just shoot it, what am I doing? I don't know why I'm complicating it. <laughs> oh! Damn it, it's sixteen hundred. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. I just want to see if this is the correct chest. There's also the gratitude crystal thing. Wakey, wakey, young slugger bed. Oh, you appear to be relishing that sneeze. I decline to wake you. I must say, old bug, you did make the shop a mite heavier. Your accent? Huh? The mellifluous timbre of my voice sounds different to you. Perhaps a touch, I suppose. But pray, what does it matter, huh? This is my humble home of sorts. When night draws her tenebrous curtain across the sky, here I come. Come here. A bit lacking in creature comforts, to be sure, but I can relax in peace. You're aware that Lothwings don't fly at night, I'm sure. So I suppose I shall have to take you back to town with me on the morrow, hmm? When you wish to go back to Skyloft, chase your dreams on the bed once more, and the on the morrow you shall be there. So, wait, is... Does Beetle have a British accent? <laughs> oh yeah, it's not this one. But... I figured it'd be worth a try. <laughs> also no gratitude crystal here, that's surprising. Okay, I mean...
I just didn't want him to get annoyed. So what? Where does he sleep? <laughs> I didn't buy anything. It's okay, I didn't get annoyed. Went for a night walk? Damn. It is a bit warm, I, I didn't notice. It's it's not that cold outside. Alright, well my bad. I thought we could progress and get Oh. Right, hang on, we can do something while we're here. I might be able to afford it. Hold up. Because I have claw shots now and now. There's uh there's a couple of things I can do. We had heavy snow, it was insane. It's funny that it's warm here and then it's the opposite over there. There we go. Oh, that's the one that's lit up, but Kessa, thank you. Well, still, I mean. There it is. Alright. Please be money. Or a heart piece. You know what? The heart piece would be good too. All right, we can afford it now. Cool. Works for me. So this wasn't a waste. You had snowflakes the size of a baby's fist? Jeez. I, I can't picture that stuff. It just seems like a whole other planet to me. I mean, one day I'll experience it. Um... Hang on, let me just see. Is this... What's under here a normal chest? It is, so I'll go do that. Don't get hail. Ooh, I mean, we do, but not gigantic hail. That's really uncommon. I feel like gigantic hail is further up north. It's hail that isn't trying to kill you. <laughs> Having something in Australia that isn't trying to kill you? What do you mean? Just checking if the chest here isn't accessible. It's not. All right. Or is... There you are. I have a big purchase to make, Beetle. Come here. Now we're buying it. Thank you. Okay, I'm officially poor again. Wait, did I buy another? 
Did I buy a potion to, after I used it? I didn't. Oh, there you go. That's something I should do. You're only in... Well, you're in New South Wales. Yeah, I mean, it's the same in... It's pretty much just the East Coast. Lower East Coast that gets uh, snow. I mean, depending on where you live here, let's just assume you live metropolitan areas, like Greater Melbourne. You have to drive like at least two hours to go see snow, and that's for like one weekend a year. And I mean... It's not really snow. It's mostly slush or, you know, whatever your equivalent of slush may be. It's not, it's not impressive, but it's all we get. They have to turn on a snow machine. We have pretty tall mountains. Uh, I don't know how tall they are. Yeah, I would say so. The blue mountains are the taller ones, I believe. But that's one mountain range. I guess not t That's where the snow is, where Gami's talking about. But I guess they're not, relative to every other mountain, I guess they're not that tall because otherwise you would get snow on them reliably. Oh, what heat-seeking rocks? I have never experienced weather that is negative double digits in terms of Celsius. Um, we want to drop... North Desert. Okay. Where is the... Sand Waterfall thing? Over there. You would thrive in a cold place that doesn't snow. How cold, though? I mean... I say it gets pretty cold here in winter. But not, you know, snow cold. It's rainy cold. Just obviously summer is uh, your problem. You might enjoy Tasmania. Tasmania's summer is not... It's, it's manageable... Compared to everywhere else. No. Oh, well. so that's that's the furthest uh, you can go from a southern perspective. What's the easiest way over there? I should have gone to the other entry. I almost feel like going back up just to... ...speed this up. I think I might do that. <laughs> this just seems tedious to cross this. When I could just go up and go to the... Sorry chat, give me a sec. I think I, I chose poorly here. It's around 5 to 15 in Sydney in winter, and that's the coldest on average. It's, it's about the same here. It's pretty similar. Okay. Uh, I mean, would... Does it... Gorge makes sense, and then we just backtrack. Where 
are we? This is correct, I think, and then we just go through here. Yeah, and then the what? Yeah, cool. This is the what? This was the right one. The sandfall, not the waterfall. Ooh, yeah, this thing does not... But it recovers, so I guess that's fine. really need the extra height. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. I'm using... <laughs> In my defense, it is past midnight here. And I've been playing this for a while. I just assumed I had the claw shots out, I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think most people per prefer the cool weather. It's just, if you haven't experienced extreme heat, it, it's not fun. Like, if you get snow... Sl Alright, slipping on ice is one of those things that happen to people. Do you want to know what our equivalent of slipping on ice is? Our equivalent of slipping on ice is touching an object that's metallic and it burns you. <laughs> like, something as simple as the seatbelt on your car. You get into your car, and then you touch your seatbelt and it burns you. You don't see it coming, because you don't think anything else of it. Oh man, a video, a video that makes me laugh. Fuck. What was that? Um, <laughs> a video that makes me laugh is, uh, this dude was, was talking about it, you know, oh, he's saying, oh, it's like 40 degrees outside right now, and he pours a bottle of water on top of, uh, an outdoor uh, grill, outdoor barbecue. So it's just a metallic surface, right? So it's electric. Pours the water and the water just sizzles and he's like, yeah, this isn't even turned on. And then, you know, he, he wants to keep talking about the point. So he leans on the counter that's also made out of metal and he instantly <laughs> just like the recoil because he burns his hand on it. It's great. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah. Claw shot to steal. Got it. But that that's what happens, is you, you just forget. You, you go about your day, and just something minor, if the object is made out of metal, it'll burn you, because you don't think about it. The car seatbelt's probably the most common one. I think everyone... Everyone has done that at some point here. I almost never get visitors. My name's Golo, and I am researching the Legend of the Three Dragons, one of which is said to live here. At first glance, it would seem that there is nothing in this area, but I know there is something else here. I will keep on looking. So your name is Lenk. I see. Not the easiest name to say, is it? Okay. How about you, Lenk? Why are you here? You are looking for a sacred flame. That sounds like something I have heard of before, but maybe not. Sweet Gor, I remember. Now I've read something about it in ancient scrolls that spoke of the Lanaris Sansi. I do not remember all the details, but you can get to the Lanaris Sansi if you just go straight through here. If you want to get to the Lanaris Sansi, you are going to need this key. Cool. Good luck to you. Uh, 
Ah, uh, see, there's something here. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. You would not happen to be interested in excavating. You are? Well, then you're gonna love this. The thing is, these Rachel's digs can be expensive, but they can also be lucrative. Any interest in investing? Sure. Thanks, these fun I'll put these funds to good use. I don't remember the Goron doing that. <laughs> investing? In the digs? Gonna try and get some sleep. Alright, no worries, Gammy. Well, thanks for popping in. Have a good night. Should I be doing this? Okay. That would be a terrible idea in reality, right? Oh, this goes to the mines? What does this end up in the mines? Hang on, I, I want to see this. Just in case it's some spot that... Oh. No, but I mean, I guess I have everything from this. I... Alright, just making sure, like, there wasn't an item or something. the time. So what is this? It just gets launched off into space. Alright. We'll worry about it later. Alright. Make sure we're stuck up. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be quite the stretch of, uh, Exploration. This is the linear sand sea. This whole area was once an ocean. But the water has all evaporated, and now the area is a sea of sand. Signs indicate that this place functioned as a port, linking the land to the sea. This area operated on a new form of power. There is a 90% probability that the sacred flame is located ahead. I recommend this sand sea. Does Fee ever say something that with, with certainty? Like, it's always hedging language. It's always just leaves room for error, so then... If something does go wrong, it's just, nah, but see, I, I didn't say it was a certainty, did I? I said there was a chance that it wouldn't work. That's just getting rid of responsibility when you're wrong. No accountability, that's the word I was looking for. Can't be held accountable, sorry. I said 90%, not 100. It's your own fault.
I'm good. I think this is what we have to get on. point to that? Maybe. Ah! <laughs> a little bit of a jump scare. save just in case something goes wrong <laughs> I think this part was visually cool but it is it is tricky to do. Who are you? Some human? Who am I? I am the proud skipper of the ship that protects Nehru's flame. Nehru's flame? It was the day of the storm. My crew and I were navigating the seas as usual. And then those brutes, the pirates, attacked us suddenly. They were after Nehru's flame. My crew was imprisoned and I was thrown into the sea. I drifted on the current to this port. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. It haunts me, wondering where my ship could be. I'd bet my hat they've turned the ship invisible and are hiding out somewhere. You can't see it. Why not? In order to protect Nehru's flame, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible. You say you're searching for Nehru's flame? Oh, so you need Nehru's flame to find someone important to you. In that case, you should help me search for my ship and crew. If you'll help me, then I guess I'll let you on my boat. Alright. Really? Hmm. There's something weird about that map of yours. If you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, then you need a proper sea chart. There is a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat. So first, you need to get on this boat and set a course for Skipper's Retreat. Shall we shove off? Alright, let's go. My circuits spark to life in the salt air. It feels so good to take to the seas after, oh, again, after so long. Let's see if I can remember how to navigate. Okay. If there is a pier on the island we can dock. Okay. Right, let's go. Okay. No motion control for this. Good. <laughs> Incoming sad portion of the game. Oh. What hap- What happens again? Something about the crew. Everyone's dead. Yeah, I thought so. Hmm. 
yeah, ni nice, nice, nice parking. What is this invisible wall? I can't dock properly? Okay, no, I'm not being incompetent. This is just silly. <laughs> I was nowhere near that dock. The pier. We've arrived. My shack is at the very top. The seed chart we need is in my shack, but you're the one who'll have to go get it. There are more monsters about than before, so be careful. I can't wander far from the boat, so I'll just stay here. There's always something sad in Zelda games. I need to remember how to get this this chest here. But I do remember eventually having to backtrack for it. Hopefully this can reach. like something I can make, right? Let me see. Nope. Stupid. <laughs> I forget how you get that chest. Oh. Did I overcomplicate it? Hang on. I may have overcomplicated it. Nope. Uh, if it has one on that side, then I overcomplicated it. It doesn't. Okay, so how do you get that chest? So this doesn't have the same effect as Twilight Princess. Can I latch onto this? Hang on. Doesn't quite reach. Or can I do it from the other side, maybe? I'm not gonna give up because this was something that I re had a regret about later. I just don't remember what I did to get that chest. This was effectively two years ago. Seems to be just a way there. I can't actually latch to that one. Oh, you can't. You, all right, it does reach. You just don't latch to chests. 
so it's not like the other hook shots. I mean, the only other way to, is to skydive, but I don't know. I'll try later. Did I just hurt myself with that cactus? Can you actually destroy the cactus? What happens? I've never done this before. <laughs> it almost looks like a stick of cheese. appreciate that sometimes you do find details you've missed when you played it the first time. Ooh, it's iron. remember how to do this. <laughs> how can you see with a gust of wind in your eyes? I could have sworn it was the bomb, but maybe I'm wrong. This sucks. Okay, I'm gonna prime it. Oh, what? I didn't press... Put it down. Pick it up. Roll it. No. No! Why does it put it away? I'm trying to bowl it. Put it down. Pick it up. And now... Roll. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> okay. Sure. Hold on. It's off. It's off center. I can dive onto it. Like you would think from here, it's just we no dive. Why you no dive? In other parts of it, it would let you dive. So how the how the heck do I get that chest then?
There's definitely a way. I'm not going to take that down because that's a bad idea. Maybe it's this. I don't know, we'll see. Hold on. Don't leave it without me! Will be captured. Told you. Right, I mean, that'll do. Ah! <laughs> How did I miss that? Ah, yes. There we go. I can't believe I missed that. I mean, are they dead or are they just deactivated because there's no... Because, I mean, it's the same as him when we first found them. It's just not really activated because Time Stone isn't there. Oh, maybe there's more to it than that. It looks like there's photos of a lot more. Very few survivors, I think, is the thing. What? The, what? Why can't I kind of... Smack! <laughs> what? Chat. <laughs> what? What is this? Are you looking at this? This part just... What the... F <laughs> what the fuck? I'm doing a vertical slice as well. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> the sword is in the pot. What the? <sighs> because it was on sand, really? Because it was on sand, it wouldn't destroy? <laughs> okay, I wasn't being incompetent. It was just <laughs> some weird hitbox thing. Well, this stuff only happens to me. <laughs> you can prevent your pots from being broken with this simple trick. Just fill your room with sand, don't worry. to look over there. Yeah, okay, I guess this is the sad part. That is the ship containing Nehru's flame. There is a 90% chance that the synthetic life forms assembled here are the crew. This image would indicate that the ship's captain spent many happy days among his many crew members. You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission. <laughs> what? Link being polite when it comes to someone's house since when? Oh no, opening cupboards, that's, that's a faux pas. Ramming into a wall to destroy someone's chandelier, no worries. Please, thank you. There wasn't any other chests, right? Like, I think that was it. Although, hang on, what, what is this I see over here? So that's just where I naturally, yeah, I think that's just where I'm naturally supposed to go. Maybe. I can't tell. Oh no, it is. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Screw you. <laughs> you got the sea chart, now we can finally navigate properly. 
Let's go look for my ship. So we set sail. Anchors away. I do like that these robots have moustaches. Okay. The shipyard is at this location. Let me mark it for you. The shipyard is where we used to build our ships. My ship was built there too. If you go to the shipyard, you might find some of the clues to the location of my ship. Okay, let's set sail. I guess that's the other thing, is like some of these smaller islands. I can't remember if they had anything on them. Like if you could get off and detour, if it was just an obstacle. Why would you want to hide the cannon? It doesn't seem to be a disadvantage to having the cannon ready at all times. <laughs> I love how Link makes a, a sound of exertion when using the cannon. Like, dude, you're not- you're not the one shooting the cannonball. You don't need to go there! That! Take it down the notch. <laughs> you're at a 12, we need you at a- at a 7. That's the stronghold of those fearsome pirates. Wait, isn't this a ship hard? Oh. Oh, it's over there. My bad. Whoa. I don't know why I thought that was going to work. We've arrived. This is the island where we used to make our ships. You'll find the shipyard here, as well as the town where the workers lived. That building is the construction bay. But the entrance is closed. Looks like you can't get in. Each location on the island is linked to the others via minecart track. You might be able to get to the back door of the construction bay if you can get around to the other side using a minecart. There is a minecart station over there. Okay. See, this is the level of assistance that I want. And then leave it to my own imagination to figure out a way across there. <laughs> Ugh, 
cursor. There we go. Oh no. Okay. I, I, I hate fighting these things, I really do. I need to separate them. This is way more dangerous because... No, don't target the other one! Oh, I hate, I hate fights like this because... They both are so aggressive and... Shit, this, this is bad. Okay, just take your time. Fucking dick. I hate them. Is there, is there a way where I can only... What if I do this? Bombs away. Wow. Okay, sure. It's just sword fight, that's all that's expected. This is just one of these things that is just suffering on hero mode. This is worse than a boss, honestly. <laughs> it is. Yeah, this, this is kind of bullshit. Once I get rid of one, it's going to be fine. It's just the fact that there's two of them. It just makes this so much more annoying. Alright. Gonna Leroy Jenkins. Let's go. Move, move, move. Fuck off! One at a time! Shield bash. Stop. There's no, no shield. I was shield bashing there. You saw. No such thing. I just got one guide. Just, so I'm not going insane. I swear it's, there's nothing to do here. There, look, look, nothing, nothing. Get him! Alright, there we go. Don't you dare. Do I have to fight him? Probably not. 
I could probably run past them, but it's just more annoying if they're there. I did. I just did it then. It did nothing. It's alright. It's over now. Okay. Doesn't matter. Hey, that is my seat. No one sits the rear end on my seat but me. Got it? Uh-huh. Just, just, just a sec. All right, got it. Oh. The station here was used by folks heading into their old mines. People still ride the mine carts all over the place. I'm probably supposed to tell you there's some safety information about using the carts posted on the wall over there. Cart riding can be dangerous at times, so I suggest giving that stuff a quick read. It's, it's effectively Donkey Kong rules. You have to start again. Oh, you have to start again. <laughs> I probably should have slowed down. Ah! What? Oh, tilt mechanics, they just, they annoy me so much. I say they're tilting. I mean, if I want to hate myself, sure. <laughs> if I want to sleep at night, I wouldn't say that. sad that we can't reactivate them. Oh, you lean to turn. I This time I, I do have to slow down if I want to turn. There we go. Okay, 
as we approach the turn. There we go. Whoa! I don't know. Going up the right hand side. Ah, oh! oh, shit! <laughs> Damn it. Didn't tilt enough. I think the right hand side was correct. Why is it so bad? <laughs> I centered the remote and everything and it's still... I wish this was v like VR and you could see a representation of my Wiimote, or Joy-Con I guess, as I'm tilting this. Just to understand just the physical position of what I'm doing. Make it. I mean, I want to do it using tilt. I've only had to swap to button controls for one thing, and that was the the skydiving mini game because there was no game, no way I was gonna get 100% accuracy and land where I wanted to with motion controls. That just was not going to happen. Go through all the rings and then land on the spot? Nah. <laughs> Wait, why- why isn't this- why isn't this making it anymore? <laughs> that game is rigged? Why? You know you can plan it, like, once you have uh, the five rings, it's, you just know when it's going to land, more or less. It always falls on the same spot, roughly. I mean, rigged in a good way, I think. I won twice in a row, so... Why is this not working? had it the first time and now I can't make this jump. What, what am I doing wrong? What the f what am I doing wrong? <laughs> I'm not doing anything different.
Okay, whatever, whatever. I don't know what I did differently. It worked this time. Frustrating. <laughs> oh, shit, I went around again. <laughs> Ah. Understand that jump. Is it just that I have to go as quick as I can? Not even slow down the whole way. I'm not going to break this time. Thank you, Tilt Controls, for not registering. Appreciate that. Joke on like 90 degrees practically for it to work. But then if I overdo it, the cart tips over. Okay, there we go. Slow down. Ugh. Why? What is happening? I'm not sure this is correct. so long <laughs> why is this section so long <laughs> I might have to swap to to button controls this is this is kind of annoying jeez imagine I can't imagine how this would have been like playing this on the Wii. There's no, there's no out. 
<laughs> you just have to do it. Going left, I'm seeing what happens when you go left. Left is easier, apparently. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> ah, the last jump. <laughs> oh. Ah! All right. I mean, what would they do to make this harder in hero mode? Just make the tilt less accurate? What could you do to it? Just 50% chance that the tilt just doesn't work. Periodically, it starts ignoring your inputs. <laughs> gonna take longer than the dungeon. The dungeon's gonna be a cakewalk compared to this. One sec. I need I need some focus music. <laughs> oh man, this is this is hurting me so much. Okay. Focus music is queued up. Let's just... 
do this for a minute. Okay, here we go. Damn it! <laughs> that turn sucks so much! Okay, one more try, one more try, one more try. I really wanted that to work first try, just for the comedy bit, but I guess not. Music worked. That was uh, the slider from Mario 64. I find that, I don't know, whenever I play that song and it's a chase sequence or just something that feels like a mini game and I'm tilting myself for some reason, that music helps. It just. The state of that game just puts me in, in the zone. <laughs> And I get it done. Plus it goes with any minigame, really. Just to be sure, you can hear the game audio again, right? Master, we have arrived at uh, Shipyard Construction Day. With the passing of many years, this structure has filled with sand. I recommend looking for a sand... <laughs> recommend looking in the sand for a clue, Jesus Christ. That may direct you to the location of the ship. Nice, nice reading. Your internet is struggling. That's something you don't hear very often from someone that isn't Australian. 
The internet cannot cope with how good that last run was. This isn't quicksand, it's just, yeah. Do we really have to do this fight again? Okay, I guess so. Other one, please. Other one, please. You know what? That wasn't as catastrophic as I thought it was going to be. right away. That sound, uh, that sound, that was, uh, that hurt my ears a little. <laughs> Estimates, yeah, 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 yeah. This is why Fee's annoying, it's just, come on. I mean, I, I have good internet, and they're gonna have to pry that out of my cold, dead hands. I went, when I moved to the city, I went, and I, you know, I had to wait for a good internet connection that was supposedly coming to the house. A 0% chance, my bad. Um... And what ended up happening, you know, I lost my fiber connection from where I used to live, only to get a connection that was horrible and I couldn't even stream properly with it. So that was fun. And then I moved here and I have a very good internet connection and I'm not, like, gonna lose it ever again. Wait a minute. I didn't get anything there. Okay, hold up. What did I do? Unless there's nothing here, and then we just have to go back. It would appear so. Alright. But now I have, uh... I mean... They could offer better plans, but they're, they're kind of too expensive right now. But the connection I have is, um... Gigabit down, and then I think it's 40 up. Which is... Uh, that's enough for upload, but I wish it was more... In the, uh... The triple digit upload rate, that'd be sweet. Ship wasn't here. 
Only one place for us to look for clues. This could be scary, but we have to head to the stronghold of the pirates. Yeah. It's great seeing a game that's 40 gigabytes in size just downloading in a, in a few minutes. It's pretty satisfying to see. And I've, I've always had bad internet. Just two times where I haven't. So we're going to do this again tomorrow. Tomorrow I have a day off. And I took time off, so the rest of the week is free. I really I really want to dedicate enough time to Breath of the Wild, so I think with if I can get through Skyward Sword in the next couple of days, then we're looking good. I think I can get through all of them. And the thing is, let's say by some miracle I get through Breath of the Wild before Tears comes out, then there's always the plan B of also playing um, Age of Calamity, which is like the telling of uh, the telling of, you know, what happened. How long can Breath of the Wild possibly take? Well, the thing is, the way I'm going to play it it's going to be master mode, and I'm going to be on three hearts and non-upgraded gear. So, you know, what? I'm basically getting one shot most of the time. And I won't get my hearts until I've done all the shrines. There is an exception to it, because the last... I think the last two, I believe, because you technically need Rivali's Gale to get it. That's where I have to break it temporarily but I've done that before so it's it's like this isn't something new when I played Breath of the Wild the first time that's what I did it's just what happened was I wasn't streaming yet so the first third of the playthrough you know we started a third of the way into my playthrough when I was streaming and then I moved to the city and didn't have internet for three months so there was no playthrough recorded so I want to do that experience again. So I did Master Mode 3 Hearts majority of the time. Got all the shrines. It was... Also, I had to get all 900 Koroks before I could spend anything. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Unless I do something like, okay, maybe use the Korok Mask and a guide. Because I've got nothing to prove there. I've done it once before. And it's just something that, I don't know. I mean, I could I could just rely on the mask. And I think, because I've done it once before, I, I have some lessons I've learned in terms of finding them. But that is, that is going to be the thing. That is going to be the viewing experience in the lead up to Tears of the Kingdom. Me playing through master mode in that fashion. So, it should be good. I just want to dedicate enough time to it. So that's why I'm putting extra effort into Skyward Sword, because this is this is the only long game remaining. It's meant to hold a time shift stone, but there's not currently one in Seoul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we shall see how we go. I'm doing better than I thought I'd be doing in this, to be honest. Oh, good. This... this again, but I think... I think now I, I can fight 1v1 as long as I keep him here. So you're saying when he swings the tail, I can parry. Alright, let's try. Hey! 
Uh oh, I think I... No, the other one's still... Thank you. Alright, cool. This is, this is fine now. Oh yeah, you're right. It's just... It's kind of an annoying opening. I'll oh, piss off. <laughs> Turn around, camera! Why you do this to me? Uh-oh. What? <laughs> I think these are the only enemies that I generally have t trouble with. Because they're so agile and... They're pretty punishing. I don't want to lose my shield. That's the punishing thing about these ones, is if you get the gesture wrong, which happens pretty easily, they just, uh, do that. Why? Just have enough stamina to get across that. Please take a look. Time shift orb. I conjecture that, unlike time shift stones, this device was designed to be carried around and sold at different locations. Yeah, this was uh, this was something. Okay, you wanna you wanna see something good? Hold on. Dude, stop. Stop chasing. Okay. This is what you do. Now. <laughs> I mean you're gonna waste your bombs pretty quickly, but if there's anything in the way that's a struggle.
This is this is an exception. See, I remember some of this. This was this was a puzzle. There's another flower on the ground. I'm getting it. down. Just race across. It's fine. <laughs> oh, that's not fine. Why is it blinking that quickly? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Blow up. I'm being lazy here. Okay, it's not allowed. Fine. Now I should just be able to run. There we go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. That was certainly a bad call. Okay. <laughs> I'll deal with that in a minute. Alright, so this is like a puzzle. 
Yeah, that's what we need. That's it. That's how it works. Yeah, I, I, the beeping must be annoying. I'm sorry. But I'm not going to use a potion. <laughs> Is there anything to see here? I can't remember. Or is this the way I came? This is the way I came. Alright. Okay, just be careful. We want... Ah! I didn't think I was going to jump again that quickly. <laughs> I wanted to make sure it was just one at a time to prevent a disaster, but okay, I guess. Not allowed. the OES claiming. Yeah, because I'm giving my voice a rest. I did it for two and a half hours the other day. So I don't want to strain my voice. said oh yes for two and a half hours no i did the warrior voice for two and a half hours for april fools i was playing warrior wear gold so crap oh there's another flower silver lining I usually disable it when I'm not in the mood, but this isn't a mood thing, this is just... I don't want to hurt my voice. Why do I keep missing that jump? Ah! <laughs> it's late, that's why. Uh, I'm playing like an idiot now.
Do I really have to play this like it's a Nintendo 64? <laughs> Rotate. Ah, why? Okay, hold on. I'm shifting myself a little. Just rotate the camera before I jump. Is, is that what I have to do? Oh my god, no. I'm definitely tired. <laughs> this is this is the, the fall from grace. I mean, there's a whole thing that shows that sleep deprivation or lack of sleep is as bad as being really drunk, if not worse. Just in terms of reaction and depth perception and a bunch of key things when, uh, you know, analyzing things like distance and threats and that sort of stuff. Danger. Okay. There we go. Why? Why why you be jank? Oh, this is cursed. Why? Tracking. There we go. Come out. Now I've got to do it again. Nope. Move. Tracking was way better when you played with your Wii on the sensor bar. Yeah, because the sensor bar acts as a frame of reference, so it's a source of truth. It's like, okay, this is where the front is, but with this, there's no such thing. So instead of releasing a sensor bar, they were just like, nah, nah, just get the player to constantly have to re-sensor it. Re -center it. And the thing is, you don't need a sensor bar that big, right? You can make a makeshift one pretty easily. The power that's- yeah, closed it. I recommend going outside. Right, 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 right. Where's the save point? You can use candles, that's right. But even there's- there's miniature ones that work to some degree. Like, the Wii U gamepad, for example, that- the strip at the top of the gamepad, that acts as a sensor bar. So it's not- you don't need something massive to do a sensor bar. <laughs> that these mouse and tails are from the ship that protects Nehru's flame. You can now set your dowsing abilities set- yeah, Nehru's flame. So this part... okay. Is there a chair out here? I'm, I'm an old man, I need a chair. Hold on. What is this? What these, these? Ah, 
Strada. Up you go. What is... Is that what I think it is? There's multiple of them. Pretty nice. You needed the HD sensible because you were playing on a 106 inch screen. Yeah, fair enough. But I mean, I think this is something where they could have had a miniature one and an optional, like, have this by all means, but I don't know. It's just frustrating when you're trying to do combat and then it's like, oh, I have to realign this again and I've done the wrong thing. It's more so in hero mode than anything else. I think I need to be closer. Okay, closer. I think with the speed upgrade it, it would work better, but we'll make do. Nah, even then. Alright, that's fine. It's no biggie. Uh, this part, how are we gonna search the whole sea? Okay, so this is dowsing. Surprised I didn't carry more upgrade resources forward. Yeah, here's the thing. I didn't carry anything forward. I just started a new file So this is more of a challenge The thing about carrying over resources is you have to opt into it Oh, this, see, this is, this sucks to do because you're being chased. That way. I might have to very well drink the potion here just to get through it. Because unfortunately your health is the ship's health. Do I at least have the heart medallion? I do. Well, that I found, so... I prioritized getting it, or so I thought I did. I bought another type of heart medallion that increases your health on Beetle, thinking I got it, but then immediately after I got the real one, so... It's fine. Moving target. Thank you. 
I think I collided with it. This was annoying to do, from what I remember. it again. I'm pretty far away from it now. It's almost worth camping it out. Stop firing. Got it. That's a hit. Did you see it? That's my ship. You must be sure. Keep pounding with the cannon. I hate- I really don't like this plot. How many times we have to hit it? Yep. Damn. Damn. Got it. Ah. It's all right. I just have to collide with it and hit it point blank. No worries. more beeping in your ear. Okay, my dear chat. This is today's stopping point. Before I go too far into this, because this dungeon does take a while and it is extremely late for me. So I need to get some sleep now. As you may have noticed earlier, I was not playing as well as I could have been. <laughs> Just a tad, so I need to sleep. 
But I do hope you enjoyed today's stream, especially if you're new around here. It was good to see some new faces. Uh, yeah, thanks for checking out the content. If you want to watch more of my stuff, including playthroughs of all the other Zelda games that came before this one, you can also find me on YouTube. Just search for the same channel name over there. I have three channels, highlights, VODs, and the occasional stream stuff with shorts over there. So, hope you do check it out. Or you can go to shambles.gg to find everything I do on the internet. So, I hope you do check that out. But, uh, otherwise, thank you for tuning in. And, if you're watching this later on YouTube, of course, thanks for clicking and, uh, getting to the end here. I do hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far. I will return tomorrow. I have a day off, so, you know, whenever I get, uh, up and have some breakfast and eat and, uh, I'm all good with energy, we'll, uh, we'll play more of this. I do want to get through this quickly as, uh, my goal is to, uh, get through all these games before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Uh, before I wrap up, I don't usually do raids, but because I'm up at a time where there are people that I follow that are up, uh, we're gonna go say hi to Liquison. They're pretty cool and, you know, hang out here every now and then, so they're playing Pillars of Eternity, so stick around if you wanna have some chill times and watch more games. But otherwise, I'll see some of you tomorrow. Alright. Take care, everyone. I'm gonna go to bed. Bye.